All right, hello friends. Well, um, one of the questions I get a lot or people ask me about is with an ax, what happens if your handle breaks in the bush? Well, um, you're not screwed completely. You definitely need an ax. And sometimes the only way to make a new handle is with an ax. You know, if you don't wanna sit there and carve with your knife for a super long time, but you definitely need an ax to make a new ax handle in general. That said, you can make a pretty awesome temporary ax handle if your uh, handle were to break so that you could uh, make a new one with it. And for that, here I got my little ax head. One thing about, you know, you guys hear me talk about this all the time, but uh, I like these Russian axes. Uh, you know, if you get like a Cranford Brooks or something, they're so popular, but they have such a small eye that if they break, something like this isn't gonna be possible. And I've had them break before, having that very, you know, small eye. So anyway, I like the good thick eye on these Russian heads. This is a smaller kind of packable one. Um, and again, I'm trying to get some of these made because these Russian ones are awesome, but their steel quality varies a lot. Um, so I'm working on getting some made it's just a slow process especially during covid but uh if you want to get on my email list on my website at jordanjonas.com then i'll let you know when i finally do get some awesome axes produced uh you won't you won't want a different axe <laughs> anyway a quick quick field fix for a broken handle say your handle broke is to with your knife or you know you can always work with with your just your head but of course you're gonna be banging up your knuckles um, is to get just a little forked stick this I got off of a choke cherry but you know whatever fork stick you find in the era area birch is real common you know uh, a lot of times I got the first one I found it's a little it's a little thin if, you, if it's a little too thick to fit through the eye of course you could you can carve that down. You simply drop it on here, squeeze this together, and then you can work. Ah. Work that on there, like so. And that'll give you a temporary handle in order to make a new one. So we could then cut off the extra here. There you go. And with that little temporary handle there, <laughs> you can you know, find a self something that you can make more permanent, a more permanent handle with. So, of course, another Avenki trick. Safe, quick, easy. No. <laughs> anyway, something really handy to know. So, again, it's one of the other reasons I like to have a, a wooden handle on my axe is just because it is replaceable repairable um if it does ever break and it's not as big of a deal as you think uh, i can't remember if i've done an axe handle making video but if i haven't maybe that's what i'll do next or soon at least anyway there's a good example of a quick temporary axe handle repair that will get you going back in the field <laughs> good to know good stuff to know Ugh. So anyway, I appreciate you guys watching, and uh, like I said, hopefully I'll get some axes produced here in the next, you know, this coming year, because uh, it really is something that I feel like in the U.S. we're getting short-ended on the axes, but I can't find one that I like as much as I like a Russian axe. I j could just get Russian ones over here. Unfortunately, like I said, the steel varies greatly from axe to axe, so... <laughs> Try to get one with the best steel I can find. And uh, 
with the awesome Russian axe head design. So anyway, until we have that Siberian forest axe, thanks for watching and uh, cheers.